welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today I have a DIY for you. Now you're going to need a few things for this DIY so I'm going to go over all these materials. All of this minus two little things were purchased at the Dollar Tree and those two things you don't even have to have. Right? So first, this is just a cookie cooling rack and then I got a big baking tray. The two things you want to make sure is that it's big enough that it's, it sits on top and not down in. Although if it went down in, it's not a big deal. You could put some plastic cups under it to raise it up. Mine happens to sit on top. So that's my first setup. Second would be coffee. Hmm. I'm kidding. Okay. Um, you're going to want some plastic cups. I'm using clear because I want you to be able to see what I'm doing, but you don't have to use clear cups and you don't have to use disposable. I'm doing this for the video and for ease, but I will wash them out and reuse them. Um, some materials to do this project on, we're doing paint pouring by the way. So I grabbed a pretty flower, a little placard, a canvas, just one of the regular you can use, a stretch canvas or this, and then I grabbed a box and I'm just gonna do the lid. So we're gonna see how all these different materials, so they're all slightly different, how they take this acrylic paint. And that brings us to the next thing you're gonna need, acrylic paint. Now I bought all these colors and there's a whole bunch down here. I've got greens, reds, yellows, blah, blah. White is important, you'll want white. Because really you can, I can mix with any of these and get a lighter color. The one things I didn't buy was this 50 cent purple that I got somewhere, I forget, Joanne, Joanne, um, that I had in my stash and some gold because I wanted a metallic gold. I may try some glitter too. I should go get some glitter. Scissors just to have, um, a squirt bottle is not necessary, but it might come in handy, and I'll go through that with you here in a second. Um, but I did get these at the Dollar Tree. I only ended up needing one. Um, if you want like a measuring vessel, or you could put your paint in here to pour, that's up to you. I'm not, because I just think it's gonna be messy, but I needed it for water. And then I'm using eight ounces of Elmer's glue mixed with eight ounces of water. These are four ounce bottles, so you could totally use four ounces. It just depends on how much medium you want to mix. And that brings me to what this is. So in order to pour, I've been learning all about this guys, you need a medium to mix with your acrylic paint. From what I understand, the medium helps it pour and run better, but it also helps when drying so you don't get cracks and bubbles. That's what they're saying when I re was researching this project. So this is eight ounces of Elmer's glue all and eight ounces of water. I did get hot water just to help it dissolve, but that's all this is. And we're gonna mix equal parts of paint and medium for the test runs. Um, and then the last things you'll need is something to stir with. I've got popsicle sticks and tongue depressors. We'll use these. Disposable is the key. You're gonna want old clothing on because if you get paint on yourself, acrylic paint doesn't wash out of clothing real easy. Um, so you'll want a shirt that you don't care or an apron, which I can't find my apron. Hmm. So you want clothes. Um, I'm gonna get some wipes for my hands. You could wear gloves, but as you know, that's hard to find right now and I don't feel like I have any. So we're just gonna go rogue and not wear gloves. I can wash my hands, but I do want some paper towels or wipes to clean up any messes that this is gonna make because this is potentially messy. And this would be so fun to do with kids. I think they would have a blast. Um, and I will show you the three techniques I learned. Pooling is one where you do dots. One is, uh, it's called dirty pour. And then one is a flip pour. So we'll do one of each of those. Yeah, so let's get started. Let me grab the other couple things I forgot and get you turned around and let's mix up some paint. All right, guys. I took some purple, that was mine, in here, some bright yellow, cobalt blue is over here, 
and then I made a lighter green with some yellow and green and a little bit of white and I just mixed it together so the next step I'm trying to get stuff out of our way here is we're gonna add some of this this is our median remember so we'll try it in here first and like I said you just want to do about 50 50 you want to get a good pouring consistency but not too thin crazy huh there we go. See how it's... Oops. So we have a nice green here. We're going to do some purple. And these square, square bottles aren't bad at all. We have some purple. Which is nice. We're going to do some yellow. And what our first is going to be a flip color. We'll get the messy one out of the way first. So we have some yellow. Now what I have been learning is if you add um, silicone, which is what's in WD-40. So when I saw one of these, the guy used the lock stuff or the WD-40 from the Dollar Tree and sprayed it in here. You'll get some different looks to it. But I didn't have any at my Dollar Tree, and I really wanted this to be all Dollar Tree related. Let's see, maybe a little more blue. Okay, so this is a little smudgy, but it's okay. I mean, these are Dollar Tree squirt bottles. You expect that, don't you? Let's get these over here. Oh, and I grabbed glitter, and this is all Dollar Tree glitter. I just have it in little plastic containers to make... Let me turn that fan off. It was warm up, up here a minute ago. Now, I think what we're going to do first, pull this, this direction, and this over here. So we're going to do like a summery, oops, sorry, a summery color one first. But, oh, we also need to mix up just plain white. I forgot to do that. So let's mix up real quick just some plain old white. Um, when you're trying to go with a lighter design, just plain white helps. And then some of our medium. How cool is it that all of this stuff can come from the Dollar Tree? I'm gonna use a bigger stick for this one. Perfect. It's a little thin, but I think it'll be okay. Now, for the dirty pour and the flip pour, you do the same idea. It's You're going to layer in a cup. So we have a clean cup here, right? Got my white, so we're going to do a little bit of white in the bottom. And the fun thing is, you just don't know how this is going to come out. I have no idea how much paint I'm going to need. Oh, and you want to put something on your surface. So let's do... A little bit of blue and we're gonna run this blue down the side of the cup for no other reason than I think it'll be fun how about some green and you want to do multiple layers of this coloring right that is very thin. I'm gonna add some more purple paint. That purple is really thin. And I think I knew that going in and I was said to myself, self, don't add a bunch of white, of the medium to that, it's already thin. Sorry, I'm gonna stay in shot here. Okay, and then we're gonna go this way. We're just trying not to mix the paint per se. Just get it in this container and then here's some yellow and the yellow is pretty thick some more white and then we'll do the rest of everybody else right except for the white some green how fun is this gonna be what I'm trying not to do is um, mix all the colors together, is what we're trying not to do, if that helps in any way. Yellow. 
And if you're doing more pours in the same colors, go for it. Don't throw your paint cups away or put them aside like I'm doing, but I'm not gonna do multiple colors. All right, so all of the paint is in this cup. Look how messy that looks, guys. This is gonna be called, haha, let me get you over here. I'm gonna reset us here. You're not gonna be able to see what I'm doing. Sorry. Ah, there we go. There we go. Okay. So you take your dirty pour, you put your surface over it, and you turn it. It's a flip cup. Get it? I'm just gonna give it a minute for all the paint to seep to the bottom. And we're gonna let it run. Oh. <laughs> Right? Okay, here we go. And then this is where it's gonna get messy. And you're just kind of moving it around, letting gravity take hold. And you're gonna get all of these different cells appearing. Oh, guys, this is awesome. I'm about ready to get my hands dirty and I don't want to. Uh, but look at that now we're gonna put some glitter on here I think I did too much green maybe but we will know tomorrow how fun does this look guys all right give it a second all right there we go Ooh. we need some more this way Okay, now do you see why you need all this protection? And then we just kind of want to, I'm just going to do a little of that in the center. Give us some more white in here, so I think it's a little dark. And then, <laughs> we're going to take some pink glitter and let's see what that does. I'm doing it from pretty high up because I just want to let it kind of do its thing. <gasps> Guys, how fun does that look? I'm going to bring it up here close so you can see it. Now, here's our sad news. It has to dry overnight. So, I'm going to put it behind us. Yeah, I was gonna stick it on a cup, but I'm afraid the cats will get at it. So we're just going to sit that right back here. And then we're gonna clean our hands again. I'm gonna wipe this just because I don't want it to get on the back of the next project, the next pour. Okay. And let's put that away. Now, what do we think the next pour should be? Should we try wood? What do you, ooh, sorry, that was loud. Uh, let me move that out of our way. I'm just gonna get, this takes up a lot of space, guys, in case you didn't notice. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter about that. But let me move this over here. Okay, now. This next cup, next pour, should we try like, what colors you think we should go with? We've got white. How about this burnt orangey color? Oh, just put you in here. We could do some of this. It's like a yellowy orange. See how thick that paint, this is actually decent acrylic paint guys, just for the record. And then how about blue? Some deep blue, ooh. Somebody I think opened that one. Fingers, wipes. 
And since I'm not working at the office tomorrow, though I do have a doctor's appointment, so we'll try real hard not to stain our hands. But let's do this blue, okay? And how about this light blue? Some cobalt blue. And we're gonna do what's called a dirty pour. So we need some of you, some of you, some of you, and some popsicle sticks. These things come in great. Stir it up. This dark blue. this light blue. Maybe we'll get a little bit of green. I don't know. Okay. Let's get these sticks up out of here. They got in my way the last time. And a little bit of white at the bottom. And we don't need a lot of this, so let's just, I'll keep these for another, for another pour. And how about this one next? And this one. And if you go higher, it forces the paint down and mixes more. How is that for coolness? Okay. Now, this cup, this is just called a dirty pour. Everything is in the cup. We're gonna go this way. And then back this way. Right? a little more of this color up here and we'll do a little more of this one I'm trying to make this one lighter okay are we ready to get our hands messy again okay here we go Oh, guys, is this not fun? Oh, might even end shot. Sorry, I was too busy watching. Now, the sides I like to get, but I use my hand to kind of... Get it around the edges. Kind of want to go this way with it. And you can always go after the fact and paint the sides. But there are no rules here. There we go. How does that look? Oh, I love it. And I want to get it all down the sides. So what we're going to do is just pour some dots. Okay. And then we're going to do... This like movie color. Some yellow. And some 
green. And not a lot of green. Okay, let's see what this does. Oh, how fun is that, guys? It almost looks like a um, butterfly. Just trying to get it over the edge. <gasps> Look at that. And then let us get it going this way. Oh my gosh, guys. How awesome is that? I just want to let it sit there for a minute and do its drippy, drippy thing. Right? Let me get you down there. I don't want to touch it. I don't want to do anything to it. Let me let it drip for a minute before I take it off this table. Dirty pour. We're going to go back and forth. So are you ready? Freddy. And I think, oh, I love this. Look at how pretty it is just coming out of the container. this is just on the plain canvas guys hands are gonna get dirty we're okay with that right right and I try to go towards the side that I have to cover the most ground right so where did I miss and I don't mean miss but where do I need to cover the most you can't really control much, but this flow, you certainly can. <sighs> Guys. OMG. Do you see that? Look at the river running through. And now I'm just going to let this, I'm going to put some glitter on it here in a second, but we're just going to let this run through. Ugh, more of these. More of these. My hands are gross but I want to sprinkle some glitter before I turn the camera off and go wash up. So these uh, face wipes work out great, just so you know, for hand wipes in this air in this time where things are hard to find. If you're doing crafts like this with your kids, just get some of the um, Bolero face wipes. Oh, I see something that happened that I want to fix. See if I can maybe move this thing instead. My little corner over there did not get covered. Okay, that's not working. So let's see if this will work. Just take whatever color we have in this little cup. Touch our little corner there. I really just want all of this corners all right perfect now glitter are you ready I'm not gonna do too much I was gonna do the whole jar but I would prefer to use my hands. Um, I think I'm gonna be using this as like a frame. Let's 
so mostly I would like it around the outside but oh and this is really ultra fine glitter and it just feels nice in your hands too <laughs> I don't think you just saw what I did but I did sprinkle glitter all over it um, and this is I'll show you this is just some gold fine glitter oh this is from Target but it was a dollar all right I'm hoping when it dries, we'll see some sparkle. But I'm gonna bring it up here for ya. <gasps> Guys, how fun is that? That just screams fall to me. Spring and summer. All right, let's let all this mess dry overnight. And then I'll show you in the morning. Hi guys, so I finished, or finished, <laughs> the paint pouring. Um, I guess what I mean is it's dry and I want to show you the finished products and what I think I'm going to do with one of them. So I just have them in a little metal basket here and then a couple of things I've noticed. So in here, this is just, I did the lid, right? So some of it, it got a little moist in the corners and started to separate. What I might do in the future is hot glue. Just a real small bead of hot glue or regular glue. But look at that. Isn't that fun? And I love even where the paint missed. So this is just the top of the box. And one thing I thought I was going to, I might do, I'm not going to use this word, but these wooden words that you can get, but this is a sticker. I just decorate it like that or from the Dollar Tree they have these wooden letters and you could put an initial on it or a small you know two or three letter word and paint it and personalize the gift and this is literally like the cutest <laughs> hi Wellington the cutest packaging I think I love this um, this stuff does take a day or two to dry. I let it go about three days. But it was just sat there. I mean, it was no big deal. So that's the first item. We need some coffee, too. Mm. Okay. The second one is this. And it's wood. But what I thought would be so cool is it put somebody's name with those wooden letters. Like... A kid's bedroom door how fun would that be you could let them paint pour it and then you could add their name to it or something use it as a trivet I just love it and it goes any direction that's the beauty of it and with the wood this one dried pretty quick the wood did it didn't get any warping or misshaping and um, I would probably seal it maybe it's a little rough I wouldn't sand it um, but yeah, no bubbling. The paint didn't peel. It's not peeling or bubbling because that glue we did. Look at that little corner right there. I just think this is a lot of fun. So we have that. Now this was that thinner wood planks. All this is from the Dollar Tree. But look, it doesn't that look celestial? And I, this is the one I added just some glitter to the top of it. Ugh, I'm obsessed. Now, maybe do a star and you could do celestial. This one was darker colors. And again, it took not as long to dry because it's the wood. But yeah, and the hole is still here, so you could totally hang these. And again, put maybe a name on it or, well, I don't think that. But you could layer things. Yeah, look at that one. I love the glitter. I don't know. Excuse me, the last one is my personal favorite. Do you see the gold in there? It's like ri rivers of gold. Now, I will tell you, see some pooling here and here. What happened, I used the board from the Dollar Tree and it bent. So, A, I would recommend getting the canvas that has the wood on the back. You can't, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but the canvas is lifted away. It's fine, and it'll be a beautiful decoration in all these fall colors, but if you have a choice, I would go with a stretched canvas. 
What I did to fix this, I let it dry for several days, I put a piece of wax paper on the front, I spritzed the back with some water and I put another piece of wax paper and then some heavy books on it and let it sit for two days and it straightened it out. So it's fine, I fixed it, but just, just to make things a little easier in life. Now this one had some gold metallic paint and I put gold splitter. And then what I'm gonna do with this, and I haven't done it, but I grabbed this card from the Dollar Tree last fall. And for, for this year, for Thanksgiving, I'm gonna mount it in the middle. And I'm just gonna glue it down with some sticks, sticky glue, but I'm gonna use it as like a frame. Isn't that awesome? And if you really wanted to get fancy, you could um, attach a magnet and then maybe laminate these or stiffen them up and then you could change it, you know, for different seasons, but this is definitely for fall. But I think that is awesome. So I'm gonna do that and then I put it on a gold uh, picture stand and have it for Thanksgiving, a Thanksgiving decoration. So this paint and this project was so inexpensive um, to go over the materials again, it's acrylic paint, any acrylic paint, any tempera paint, any paint. The medium I used was Elmer's glue or just white school glue, equal amounts and water. And you mix that with the paint and they get a pourable consistency. So I hope you enjoy, oh look at that, look at those greens. I just love this so much. So I hope you enjoyed this easy Dollar Tree DIY and it's something that you and your family can do. I think it will be a lot of fun especially with the kids. It's a fun permission to make a mess kind of a situation, you know? Um, if you have like an outside area, that would be perfect. Go outside and then you can create maybe some Christmas gifts or some decor for your house. So I hope you enjoyed and I will chat with you guys later. Bye. And, oh, Debbie wants to say bye. He doesn't really, but I'm gonna make him. Oh, don't you stay with me. Okay, okay, okay. And Alex, Alex, you come say hi. Come on. Come here, Alex. He's mad. I put him on a diet. Come on. Now that I'm home, 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 I can kind of monitor better what they're eating. So Wellington gets, he's not really interested in dry food anymore. So he gets his little wet food. He gets, I think a tablespoon he can handle in the morning. And then I give him one at lunchtime and one at dinner time. And he seems to be very happy and content with that amount of food. If I try to give him any more, his digestion just gets upset and he throws up. So, and I worked out that eating plan with his veterinarian. He also gets treats and like today, I had some grilled chicken. So I pulled some pieces of chicken out of the center that didn't have any seasoning on it and he had some of that. So he, he's fine. Alex is the one that's not happy because he's getting a half a cup of serving for the day and that's it. That's all the crunchy food he needs right now. He's laying over here and I can see his fat belly. You gonna come here? Come here, Alex. He's not coming. All right guys, well I will talk with you later. Bye.